Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable, the amazing, the terrific, the From musicians through to fans, Will Binks is an avid collector of punk and new wave memorabilia. The first record I bought was Heart of Glass by Blondie in the beginning of 1979 from a, a shop in South Seals called Callas at the Nook, which is a strange shop to buy records from because downstairs it sold furnishings and upstairs it sold uh, records and tapes. Uh, my first gig was in October 1979, which was the Boomtown Rats at the Newcastle City Hall. And I was 13 years old and going to a gig as a 13 year old, it was absolutely fantastic, the thrill of it, the excitement. And that was me set on my journey and music was, was for me. The first local band I seen was the, the Letters, who I seen a few times at the Bolingbrook Hall in South Seals. But the first local band I befriended was the Public Toys from Heaven, who were uh, an early punk band. Just, just four lads from Heaven, basically. We had, a, had the bass player from Shields, and we were doing quite well of it, like, played everywhere. Well, that was where we played Shields, Newcastle, and all that. I remember the first gig we ever done, and it was at a cellar. I remember that we thought we were the business, you know, we were obviously <laughs> off your and we'd done the first gig. <laughs> And I jumped round over and pulled the leads up the amps and the, the, the pier caught on fire. And the singer over and blew it out. <laughs> His amp was on fire. He actually blew the amp out. You know? Obviously, we had to finish it with three songs. Like, it was an absolute disaster. And we thought, maybe this is a bit harder than we thought it would be. Like. In 1982, I, I decided I wasn't going to be a musician. So I decided to do my own fanzines. And myself and my cousin Paul Briggs uh, put together our own fanzine, Hate and War, which released two issues. The public Toys disbanded at the end, end of 1982, and uh, Robbie, one of the members, formed a band, The Fiend. And The Fiend was a band I befriended and became great friends with Robbie. And uh, I followed them all over, and I still do to this day. At the beginning of 1983, I got together with my friend Gary Payne, and we started a new venture, which was called Still Dying. And we released three issues in 1983, which I'm really proud of. Basically, I think uh, I was never good enough to play anything at all in any, any band, much as I wanted to. Bought a bass, couldn't play that, couldn't sing, couldn't do anything. So basically it was either get involved with the band by any other means and the fanzine just came about. Me and a friend of mine, uh, Will, uh, we sat down one day and decided we both couldn't do anything as I say. So we decided to compare the fanzine. We followed a lot of local bands, Public Toys being one of them. Through the interest we were getting off bands, sending us demo tapes and what have you, we compared the fanzine because of that, which was uh, basically written by myself. Will took it away, taped it up, set it all out. Then it was actually printed at the police station when they wrote on a call on the fiddle because his, his grand grandma was a secretary at the Keppel Street police station. So whenever no one was there, we were running photocopies off of the fanzine at the police station. That's where it was all printed at, free of charge. It was great going to meet bands, going to see bands, interview bands, uh, review gigs and records, etc. It was a really exciting time. The fanzine was sort of gigs. Within, a, I think it was a 200. Uh, copies of each one, I think, maybe 300 the, the third one. But they were sold, all of them had gigs, local gigs in the area, the station in Gateshead, and anywhere locally basically. It's where you get enjoyment from, it's what you enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's, a, it's your, mm -hmm. well, the biggest hobby you've ever had, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I like nothing better than someone come to the house and sort of force my music on them, you know, sit and listen to it all. Oh, that's just rubbish, whatever. I said, no, have a listen to it, have a listen to it, you know. And they'll go away and they'll think, oh, it's not a bad thing. He, he's, like he's a bit sad on me. Like. I, I, I'm <laughs> he's a lot worse than me. Like. You should have definitely had to play the bass and he, may, he wouldn't uh, have been maybe just bad. Like.